What are you up to, Sarah? I'm bringing syrup up to my bees for feeding them. What's in there? It's sugar water. It's a mixture of it's two, it's a two to one mixture of sugar and water. Oh, it's not pickle juice. <laughs> Let's see what's going on in here. Oh my goodness. How do they stay warm? They don't really. But the box isn't exactly cold. No. Well, in the very middle of the clump, they're supposed to keep it at a steady, I forget if it's 27 or 33 degrees, but it's pretty crazy. Really, eh? On the outside, they keep it 7 degrees. How does that thing work? It's got a... Like, how do the bees get it? There's holes in the lid. There's holes poked in the lid oh, and okay. they suck through. Does it lid. like just drip inside? Well, it does a little bit, but not too much. No? No. Stuff. When we were up here before, we saw some would kind of fly out and they would only, they wouldn't go very far. No, it's too cold for them to fly too far. Yeah, so were they sick? Like, is that why they left the hive? No, they're, they're like sanitation, whatever you want to call them, bees. And they are like the ones who clean the colony and clean out all the cells from the fruit hatch and they clean up all the dead stuff. But, but the ones that maybe flew out and all they did was they landed on the snow and wiggled around for a minute and then they were dead. Those ones might have been the sick ones. They're banished. They're banished, really? Yeah. Like the, the other bees kind of threw them out? Yeah, they're, they're physically taken to the door and they aren't allowed to go back into the hive so they're no choices way. to leave. Oh my goodness. Well, they didn't survive long sitting in the snow. Okay, what's the burlap for? It's to absorb all the moisture that the bees give off okay. when they're heating. Cool.